Why didn't you tell me that Clint proposed? I'm telling you now. Well, it was just, you know, it was spur of the moment, and then all of this started happening with Jessica, and I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Are you thrilled? Yeah, of course, absolutely. How did it all go down? I mean, what made you decide to get married? Um, we love each other. Right, but one minute you guys are fighting, the next he's on one knee and you're saying yes? That's not really your style. Well, people evolve. You can't snow me, Mom. Either you tell me what happened or you tell me to buzz off. Okay. Well, it kind of happened because Clint and Bo had a tiff. About what? Um, me. Could you check Jessica the bag? just tore up the stairs. She has the, the baby Brody with ran her. after her. I don't know. I don't understand any of this. What is going on with our daughter-in-law? Brody? Brody, how is Jessica? Did you see the baby? Are they okay? Okay, both of them are fine, but Jessica's still best, ma'am. She's locked herself into a bedroom upstairs. I, I, I couldn't get in. Yeah, but you did the right thing coming back then. I didn't want to put too much pressure on her. I, I was afraid for the baby and for Jessica. There are police everywhere. They want to take you from me. And I won't let them. Can't. Because losing you will destroy Jessica. What am I going to do now? Good question. What are you going to do? I know, it's a standoff. If Pesca's desperate and uh, tries to go out one of the upstairs window, I've got the house surrounded. Should we try to wait her out, or...? No, I don't think so. We've got to make our move while we have her trapped. So what do you want to do? We'll break down the door. I'll grab Jess, you take the baby. No, 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 no. Look, Jessie knows deep down inside that her baby died. If we don't handle this right, she could completely shatter and we will never get her back. Vicky. Bo is right. We gotta do something. I know. And I have an idea. You know, after Paul and Cole and I, we thought about what Hope would be like at her prom. We actually went to her grave and we dreamt about what she would be like by that, if she were alive what our lives would be like if we had raised her together. Oh, Star. Now she is alive, and it's... It's the dream come true that we've been waiting for. You guys deserve it. I mean, you've been through so much. I know. And a part of me... A part of me just wants to burst out with happiness, but then another part of me thinks that... I'm not gonna be able to handle it. Handle what? hope for the first time knowing that she's my baby and then having to hand her to Marcy but sorry I mean but like I said I made my decision and I have to stand by that but it's gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be you know I Cole and I, through this whole thing, we've gotten a lot stronger than we were before. But the whole reason we broke up, the whole reason why he freaked out and got on drugs and did everything that he did was because of my decision to give away the baby. The star would never go back on her promise to Marcy. And I would never ask her to. You know, I made my peace with it before. Yeah, but can you do it again? Can you go along with Star's decision again? I have to. I sign away my rights. Yeah, but there's one thing I'm sure about now. And that's that I won't star in my life. With or without the baby? Yeah. All right, hold on to that. Hold on to that, and you'll be all right. Bo and Clint got into a fight over you. Well, it's certainly within the realm of possibilities. I didn't mean it like that. It's just, what happened? Well, you know Bo and I have gotten closer because of Matthew's accident, you know? And I mean, it makes sense. It's just, it's normal. 
And then there was this crazy moment where Bo almost kissed me. Whoa! Okay, he, he didn't. He didn't. And we talked about it, and we realized that we were confusing that kind of closeness with something else, and, and we didn't want to go there. Okay. All right, so, you know, we see all the deal with a hug, and at that moment, Clint walks in, and he sees us, and he hits the roof, and so Bo and Clint ended up talking, and they got everything out in the open. And that's when Clint asked you to marry him? Pretty much, yeah. So why did you say yes? To squash any chance of something happening between you and Bo? You really think this could work? We'll best buy into it. I have to try. Okay? Vicky, th this is unorthodox to say the least. This whole situation is unorthodox, Bo. I know you have to focus on the baby, but surely getting Jessica to come out of her own volition is the safest possible outcome for the baby. No, of course it is. Please, please let me try this. Bo, I think it's better than breaking in and scaring Jessica and the baby. If you're supposed to be Jessica's protector, then why the hell are you running the risk of letting the bust in here and scare the hell out of her? What about the baby? Do you want men with guns in here? Victoria will never allow that. She may not have a choice. I think that this is the only way to make sure that Jessie suffers as little as possible. Let Jessica go home to Bree. Open that door and give them back that baby. Allow them to tell Jessica the truth. Do you have any idea what that'll do to her? Jessica's baby is dead. Nothing is gonna change that. You have to let this go. Vicki, I don't want you to get hurt. Is this safe? I'll be fine, Johnny. She's my daughter. There's always a choice. There's always a next logical step. I can get through to Bess. 15 minutes. That's all I can give you, and then we're gonna have to make our move.